while trailblazing U.S. journalist Barbara Walters has also died at the age of 93. Considered a true legend in her field, she was the first woman to become a household name in television news, becoming famous for her probing interview style, sitting down with everyone from rulers and royalty, as well as regular everyday people. The Barbara Walters Special. Good evening, I'm Barbara Walters. Walter spent decades in front of the camera, becoming the first female anchor of an evening news program in 1976. She was especially well known for her candid interviews with prominent politicians and celebrities. Those sit downs were so coveted that some believed being interviewed by Walters was the confirmation that you were a big deal on the world stage. Journalist Steve Futterman has more on the legacy Walters leaves behind. She was a trailblazer. Before Barbara Walters, we didn't see the face of women on TV news that much, if at all. She began really to make her face known and, and visible on the NBC Today show in the early 60s. Now, in the early days of her work there, she was given the, the assignments that women were given back then. She covered fashion shows in Paris, things like that. But she moved her way up and eventually began to be a co-anchor on the very, very influential Today Show on NBC. Then the big move to ABC 1976, where she became the first woman to co-host. At that time, she was a co-anchor with Harry Reasoner on the ABC Evening News. That was a first. It didn't go that well. It was a bumpy road. Harry Reasoner did not like having Barbara Walters on his side. Uh, it lasted a couple of years, but then she moved to the interviews. And that's where I think many of us remember her best some amazing interviews. For me, the most, I think, impactful interview she ever did was an interview with both the Israeli and Egyptian leaders, Menachem Begin and Anwar Sadat, where she sort of uh, cudgeled them to uh, come together and have some agreements on, on TV. And that really paved the way to some degree to what turned out to be the Camp David Accords. Now, she had other interviews, memorable ones with Monica Lewinsky talking about her affair with Bill Clinton. But as far as a news value and having something that really impacted world events, I think that interview with Begin and Sadat really is the top of the list. Uh, she'll, she's going to be remembered, I think, for a long time. And then at the end, she had one more contribution. She was the creator of The View on ABC, and she was the inspiration for that show, which has spawned lots of imitators as well. Barbara Walters was a, really a trailblazer. A trailblazer, absolutely, and we've been we've been showing some photos of, of some of those really prominent interview guests, yes. interview subjects while you've been speaking here, Steve. Uh, so on that point, how were her friends, how were some of the people who knew her best, how are they remembering her? Well, just go on Twitter, you'll see lots of memories of from from friends and fans and colleagues of, of Barbara Walters. We'll, we'll look at a couple here. Oprah Winfrey, in her, her comment, she says, with art, without Barbara Walters, there wouldn't have been me or any evening, morning, or daily news a woman on evening, morning, or uh, daily news. She says she was a powerful and gracious role model. And then another colleague of uh, Barbara Walters at ABC, Deborah Roberts, says, so sad to hear the passing of Barbara Walters. What an honor to share the set at ABC with the inimitable trailblazer. And again, that's really what she was. Uh, she was a, a, an excellent journalist, a great interviewer, but really, as a trailblazer, I think really every woman in North America who anchors TV news today owes a bit of thanks to Barbara Walters. Journalist Steve Fetterman for us in Los Angeles.